Hey everyone, welcome back to Planner App version 2. Here we are in a new session. So, before we move to add, edit, create, update, plans and items and so on, we want to complete the fetch. So right now we are fetching them as a cards and the, the list. You have seen that we have implemented all of this stuff from scratch. That, that was great. But we want to add another feature which is actually allowing the user to be able to see their plans in a data grid. So they can see more, they, can, they don't see all these big images, they can focus more on the titles and so on. So, and at the same time, you're going to learn how you can use the MUD table with a server side data. So, if we go to MUD Blazor, go to components, here we have a table, 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 here we go. So, open, great. Now we have this, it's actually an amazing component. I have used it before and right now it's in production and it's just, just amazing. So, if we go below, you can see, what you're going to achieve is some something very similar to this exactly like we will have a search and we'll have this pagination so we are we don't care about sorting but what this component provides is actually client side so we bring the list of data and we put it here all the data and then this one providing you with the filter and the the, the pagination client side so just filtering the list that you have assigned to. While this is not our case because we need to fetch uh, each page and each uh, by search. And this is happening actually server side. So we need to use another part of this component, which is if we go down. Yeah, here we go. We have server side filtering, sorting, and pagination, which means we give here a function. And then it, whenever we change any of those, it actually calling that function and then it retrieves that data. So if we open the code, uh, if we click over here, you can see that this is the table and it takes server data function, which is a, a func delegate that takes as a parameter table state and it returns a task table data element. Uh, th this element is the type which is plan summary in our case, but table state is an object that has the current page and the current uh, sorting provider and so on. So you do this and at the end you just basically return a table data which had the total item that has been retrieved just for this chunk for this page and the yeah the number of all the items so is able to calculate the number of the pages that's great and this is the function that you should use so that's very simple here they are using sorting where we are not going to take care about sorting but let's go ahead and start doing that so if we go back to the application you are going to notice I'm using the light theme, which is uh, basically, I usually I don't use it, but uh, yeah, because it's dark over here and I don't like to turn the lights of the house, so I prefer to this, the Visual Studio to shine my face. <laughs> Great. And also, you have to say congrats in the comment because I'm using right now Windows 11. That's great. So. Let's go to plans. Here we have blank card, blank cards list, and plans list. So this is the one that we have said it's going to switch between list and not table. So let's create the table. I will create a new component and razor component. And this component, I'm going to call it plans table dot razor, just like that. That's great. Let's remove this and give it the namespace, which is just planner app dot components, just like that. Let's create the code behind file interesting if you are on an old version of visual studio or 2019 just make sure to create a new c sharp file that had the same name but at the end .cs so you call it the tracer.cs and mark the class as partial this is all that you need now let's inject inject plan uh, sorry uh, public i plan service plans service get and set great i like visual studio 2022 and it complete things for me that's amazing so now let's bring this table i will take it from here and i will put it over here so as you can see my table sorry for the the c sharp code is not colorized here because of the current version of visual studio 2022 it has a little problem i hope this is going to be fixed very soon so uh, we have to create this function that called server reload, take this and retrieve this, but instead of element, it retrieves a plan, plan summary, 
just like that. So let's add over here using uh, planner app dot shared dot models. Okay, now we have asked for plan summary, this one. And let's change this title from to my plans. And on search, we are going to create this function called on search. And those are actually the fields. So what we have is just a cover, cover image, title, description. And of course, it is colors, right? Uh, sorry, actions from where I bring colors, but okay. So this one is related for sorting. We are going to get rid of this. Now, what is the type of this data? Actually, you know, the type of this data is plan, summary, just like that. So, interesting, that's great, that's great. So over here, right now, you can notice that this context is a plan summary. So for the first column, we are just going to put an image, source, it is at context, dot cover URL, and I'm going to add some inline style, just style equals web, just 80 pixel. We don't need it to be a big image. This is enough. This is for the first column. Now, the second column is simply just the title. Add context dot title. And we need context dot description. And here we are going to create uh, or basically the actions and the actions are going to be go or open, uh, edit and delete. So I'll go to the card, plan card, that's right. And we already have those three buttons over here. So I will copy them as they are. And I will put them over here, just like this. So we can take them like that. That's great. Now, uh, let me just disable this just for now. Or instead of disabling this, what I'm going to do is I will take those three, copy them, and use them also here in the table. The reason why, I, I will repeat again why I've done this before. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos, we're using this and we are not calling the function directly to let all the function of open, delete, edit, and this stuff managing by the parent list. So we write the code only once. We don't write it for the table or we don't write it for the list of cards. So we write it only once. This is why I'm using event callbacks so I can just let the parent about what's happening, what has been clicked, and what type of click that actually happens, and then the parent is responsible for doing this. We are going to see that in a bit, how this is, will be managed. So if you open up this one, we haven't done that yet, but we are going to do so. Uh, when you element edit and delete, so we have those right now. And now, as you can see, this one ex uh, expects a function called server reload. We can change its name, but we have bring it from the sample. It's a good name. I'll just add async to it because I like to call any asynchronous function like this. <clears throat> and it takes stable state and actually it returns stable data of type plan summary. So let me go ahead and create this function private. Uh, async task table data right that's right and this table data is of type uh, plan summary like this and called server reload async and it takes table state state as a function so here Whenever you change the size of uh, the page of the the number of the page or the size of the page, it's going to call this function automatically behind the scenes or whenever you initialize the page, this is being called automatically. So if I type state dot, you can see that it gives you the number of the page, the page size, and we don't need sort. So those are actually everything that we need. The only other thing that we need as well is I will add here private string. Uh, search query, or let's call it just query, equals string dot empty. So this one will be populated whenever we click enter on this one. So this one will be filled. That's cool. Now, what we have to do is to type var result equals await uh, state, uh, sorry, uh, plans service. 
dot get plans async. You can see this is much, much better than injecting HTTP client and making the call and post and get async. Now we have used this here and we have used it in the plans list. They are all the same and they are taking actually data that's understandable by everyone. And state dot page and the state dot page size. That's just great. Now we have the data and the result over here. What we have to do is at the end, it just type return new table data of type plan summary and the items are actually result dot value which is the page list dot re records those are the enumerable plan summary and the total items is result dot value dot total items count okay we are already retrieving this from the server that's great. You have the items count, which is awesome. So this is this is all what you have to do. That was pretty, pretty easy and simple. Now let's just create the private. Uh, this one over here, mod text field that has a value changed. It's actually on search. So if we check what search is doing over here, it's a void uh, search. Interesting. So let me do that. I will create this function. Private void on search string uh, query. So what we have to do is just query equal the query passed from the text. But this search is not going to make any search. What it's going to do is going to call this one again. But now this value has been set. So how we are able to let the table uh, reload its data? What you have to do over here is to add ref. What, what we mean by ref is we are creating, you know, at the end, the component is an, is an class, and an we can create instances of this. So if I typed over here private mod table of type plan summary table. So now this is an instance of, that, uh, of this component, but actually to be able to access it and to populate it with the value of this component we use at ref. When you use ref and you add this table, so whenever this component in, is initialized, this value of this one will be re, this table. And this object already has a function called table dot reload server data, which in turn uh, internally calling this function again based on the new criteria, which is the query and if the user changes the page or or the size of the page, whatever. But uh, actually this is it and this is this is a very simple stuff this is all we have to do and now let me just uh, before we get rid of those let's just test this to make sure it's working so I will go to plans list and for just for now I will comment this and I will add plans table this is all what we need to do this is really really interesting so now over here if I click on save all, I'm already running this application in the terminal, so I will stop it and I will call it again, dot net watch run. Okay, we have an error, which actually says, what it says is, Check over here, error, plan summary is a type which is not valid in the given context in the line 24. Where is the line 24? Oh, yeah, because you are calling this function and it expects a plan summary object. So you should call it at the context, which is a plan summary context. You know, the context is being used whenever you create a templated component. So every row has a has the object of type plan summary, so they it's provided as a context. So that's great. Now if we save, open up this one, it's building again. Here we go. It works now. Let me close this one and I will go to slash plans. 
that's great but here we go you can see that it automatically fetches all the data for us we haven't done anything and it's actually retrieving just the same data but a lot of magic happened we don't care about paging we don't care about anything let's see if search is working if i pass sample click enter oh here we go it's just working very fine and hit enter again that's actually this is actually great i liked it and if we open up this one i want the size of the page to be 25 let's wait a little bit here we go it loads the data for me this is just crazy it's working as like like magic and what we have to do is let let me go to the second page okay it's loading come on let me go to page number 10 or sorry the size of the page 10 let me go to the second page interesting why I'm stuck on that page okay here we go okay the first one seemed they have the same data but here we go everything's just working fine and as expected that's a great uh, now we have search we have the one that was very easy now all I have to do is just to remove this title so because it's not it doesn't look good so I'll remove it I would go to the plans list or not the plans list I'll go to the plans blank cards list and okay that's great now I'll go to plans uh, list over here and I think I will add this title over here so mud text typo equals typo dot h4 and yeah my plans let's click save let's click save for this one let's open up this okay now it's looking much better don't worry about this one uh, the margin and the spacing we are going to create a gentle pages later on but in general here we go we are we are done that was exactly like magic now we are ready to go to create add a new one and, and so on but before doing this the last thing that we have to do is to actually just go ahead and add some uh, uh, to, to add the toggle to be able to switch between the data grid and the list uh, views okay so this is our topic for the upcoming video i hope you enjoyed this one that was i think pretty easy you can practice this and uh, check check out what um go a little bit in detail so you can apply it for your stuff but i think it's 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 pretty easy you can always also this project is available on github so you can always check what we have done let me comment this right now for you directly so if I type a planner app implement implement the plans table view and let me push so now you have access for the source code the documentation of modbazer is also there if anything that's not clear you can directly put that in the in the comments and I will answer you as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video